Why didn't I think of this earlier? I'm going to check the books here at the library. Easy peasy! Hmm, there's lots of books. I think I'll have a look at this big blue one. It looks like an encyclopedia. My teacher said you can find lots of general information in that kind of book. Let me see. I should better read it at the table. It's really heavy. That's the page with the countries. Kenya, Kiribati, Kayoni, that's it. I found it. Miss Avick said we should find information about the culture and the people. I know about the volcano, the strange waves, and the lemur, but these aren't really about the people and the culture. Hmm, it says here under the topic of culture. That can't be right. I think that it should be three times more women, isn't it? 25 plus 25 is 25? I'm so confused! It also has details about the International Airport. That's the airport that Mr. Sherlamon mentioned earlier. Oh, here it says that there's no airport yet. And the runway will be built for airplanes to the west. And it'll be 2,600 meters in length. But Mr. Sherlamon said that there's a direct flight to Kayoni Airport. I wonder when this book was published. Is it before the airport was even built? Let me see. It doesn't have a date. There's a source here, but it's in French. It says, Vous vous êtes The only French I know is, Parlez-vous Francais? And Je m'appelle Madi. Je suis très belle. That's it. I have a headache. I give up. Hi, I'm one of the librarians here. Can I help you with anything? What are you looking for? I saw that you have a copy of an encyclopedia. However, I don't recognise the version. I don't think that's a book from our library, so someone must have left it here. I'm looking for information on a country. Okay, no problem. Let's go sit down. We can have a chat about possible sources. Good idea. Thank you so much. Always happy to help. That's my job. So tell me more about what you're looking for. I'm looking for a country called Kayoni for a class presentation. My teacher said to find information on its culture and people and present my findings back to the class. Have you already searched on the internet? That's the problem. The teacher told us not to search on the internet at all. She wanted to see if we could find information from other sources. Really? That's very interesting. I've not heard of a teacher doing this before, but it's a brilliant idea. Well, it's not so brilliant for me. She wanted to challenge us because she said that we usually go on the internet, search up, and then just click the first answer. And it's not always the best one. I find it quite difficult at the moment. It's like going back to the last century. You can't do anything without the internet these days. Don't worry, I can help you. Come with me to the other section of the library. Okay, thank you so much. I should have explained that I'm the roving librarian. Roving means I go around the library with my phone or tablet to help people. So you've found me at the right time. Let me check the library catalogue. We have this great mobile app. Let's see. Oh, that's cool. I thought the librarians were just surrounded by books and liked shushing people. Oh yes, that's what I was looking for. It's located in section 009. Sorry, you were saying? No, nothing. That's great. Let's go get it. 
Phew, I'm so happy I got some help. I don't have much time left for the presentation, you see. Why did you leave it this late? It can take extra time to find good information and properly check your sources. I know. Yes, or I think I know. What do you mean by check the source exactly? Always check the author, the date and the supporting sources. See if you can find the publication date. These checks can give you some useful clues. That's right. I think the encyclopedia was an older one. I thought that the airport had already been built. But once I get the other book in the new edition, I will be fine, won't I? If you could find where they sourced that information in the first place, you could decide whether it was true or not. So you need to check that it lists other good sources. Encyclopedias should educate people, not mislead them or confuse them. Yes, I understand this now. The encyclopedia I found had some confusing information about the number of men and women on the island. The maths just didn't add up. These tips are actually really helpful. Thank you. Would a good encyclopedia give me enough information for my class presentation? I wanted to find out more about the culture. Mm, probably not. You may need to find some more detailed information. You see, an encyclopedia will give you only basic information. Where the place is, current population, the climate, the languages spoken. These types of facts. Oh, I didn't know that. So consider what information you need and what would be a helpful source for it. Do you just need some basic facts or do you need more detailed information? For example, the languages people speak is factual information, but the culture can be a more complex topic. Oh, I know. Tell me about it. I actually found the language difficult too. I didn't get a word in French. And then I wasted my time with Mr. Sherlemond. He wasn't really an expert. The only thing he wanted was to sell my family a holiday. Who is Mr. Sherlemond? Oh, that's a long story. What's that? Librarian lady? Librarian lady? Miss Mason? What are you doing here? And where's the librarian? I saw that the chief librarian suddenly called her away for a job. I just came to let you know that I'm around all day. I'm doing a project for the school in the library, so if you need any help, just let me know. Oh, okay. Thanks, Miss Mason. The librarian said that I needed to get the new version of an encyclopedia. Do you have any idea of where I could find it? What's the title? I don't know, but the other one I found was a blue book. Does that help to find it? No, sorry, I'm not sure. I've only seen the one that you were reading earlier as I was going to the internet room. I waved, but you didn't see me. Oh, sorry. I must have been very focused on my reading. I was actually going to tell you about another idea I had, but you seemed to be happy reading that book. What was that? I had an idea about who else you could ask for your presentation. I have seen this group of teenagers who have set up a geography community. They like doing research and putting together information in different areas. Okay, thanks Miss Mason. It sounds interesting. But will they know about Kayoni? I don't want to waste my time. I think that they will. You can find them at the Lime Street Community Centre. Just next to the school. You know as you go out and you cross the road to the left. Oh! I know where that is, as my mum goes to a Swedish exercise class there. Is it the building with the big glass door? Yeah, that's it. I think that the community group is meeting up this afternoon. Just ask at the reception, okay? Okay, I will. Thanks. You're welcome, Maddie. Always happy to help. I've got to go now, but I'm going to be in the internet room later. Let me know if you need me, alright? Bye for now, Maddie. That was a little strange again. The moment I turned my head, the librarian disappeared. At least I learned some useful things. I may put them in use from now on. The librarian said, um... Uh... 
Check the source. Check the date. Check the author and and check check. I forgot. Never mind. It's actually getting kind of late now. My mom's going to be so worried. I better tell her first. And then off to the community group. <laughs>